but yeah we'll see anyways this is going to be the part one or day one or whatever you want to call it of dungeons and dragons dark alliance uh the game has been getting a ton of different reviews mostly negative yesterday i was reading a few the two i saw pc gamer and uh fextra life they were mostly positive but since then it's been nothing but hit after hit but as always i i like to form my own opinion on games i mean those are guidance and things like that and this is on pc game pass so with that um i'll definitely be figuring out what my uh actual opinion is but for now we'll, we'll we might as well just jump straight into it and see what exactly is going on with the game um there technically was a demo out for like a day for this game and i played about five minutes and then said hey we're two days away whatever i'm just gonna wait until the game fully releases and then play it then so i was able to launch it and everything but i really didn't do like anything other than select the character and load into the starting area um i've been going back and forth between playing dritzt which is a ranger uh well a it's a wait what this class ranger but they play like a uh rogue then caddy bray or caddy Bree is a fighter but plays like a ranger wolfgar is a barbarian and then you have the dwarf which is uh runor which is the fighter so yeah um i've been kind of going back and forth on who i was going to start as and i think i'm gonna go with dritz for now um and just see i think for the first few missions i might actually switch back and forth looks like we got a cutscene Kren Shinnevon the crystal shard forged from the magic of seven liches but with a treacherous will of its own for thousands of years the shard lay forgotten beneath the snows of Icewind Dale there it waited until some fool a would-be wizard lusting for power beyond his due answered the shard's call. A car Kessel claimed the shard and used its power to summon armies of evil creatures to his banner. From his crystal tower, he set them loose upon the dale and the people of Hold on one second, chat. I see it flickering. It's pretty bad. Hold on. Let me figure it. Well, I didn't mean to fully exit out the game actually all right well it looks like unfortunately i think we might be stuck here unless if there's an option to rewatch the uh beginning cutscene i'll do it hold on that that flickering was my mouse going over to the other monitor there we go i closed it out hopefully i'll keep an eye on it um on the game itself and see if it does flicker if it does then i'll try switching over to ndi see if that's any better for the game um but yeah sorry about that so we had some technical difficulties there for a second and i accidentally skipped the cutscene, the beginning cutscene, because it was flickering and now we're in the actual game and i guess we can actually play it so um if we do have the option of playing it i will but yeah sorry about that um, doing good, checking on my cousin or husband last night, he's doing great, he's making jokes, but he's still 100%. So we, that's good at least. But jeez, wow, man, still so crazy. In Icewind Dale. I mean, Regis told me you lived out here protecting everyone, but you know, you guys don't have the best reputation. I protect the Dale of my life. Three health you? potions, compliment of Regis. Regis. Kartik Stoneroller, merchant extraordinary. What Oops. do you need? See around. Okay. Okay. So we've got the merchant. We've got trophies over here. Uh, it looks like there's a chest right here. Open reward chest. It's 
chest is empty. Okay. So, from my understanding with this game is when you collect loot, you doesn't automatically, like, go into your inventory for you to equip. The way it actually works is that it goes into, I guess, yeah. this chest, and then you can go back here and equip it. Um, so, we'll see uh, what happens. World map to access the campaign, interact with the world map, start trials of Tempest. Uh, where you can practice combat with Tempest, the Lord of Battles. The quest from the world map progress through the campaign. Each quest is made up of three acts. Alright. So and let me send you there. This is pretty much it. I mean the game itself looks pretty good so far. Um it, it's definitely up close I can kinda see there's some things, but personally, like I've been watching a few streams. And the game has looked pretty darn good from my opinion. Um, but again, I, I am on technically the overall setting is medium, but all the other settings is on high. So. Yeah, that would be cool too. That sucks, man. That's really like sketchy. Um, I think I'm going to try so if we do jump into a quickly custom game. Regis never did say how he managed to take out the I'm gonna do custom game and do public. Must have been awesome. So that way does it make me the host or I guess we'll find out. I don't know if it's throwing me into because I don't want to join somebody's game that's already like done a million missions. But if it makes me a host and other people are able to join me, then I'm totally all right with that. And it looks like that is what it did, which is cool. Um, It definitely feels laggy. Like right now, ready? So three, two, one, I press escape, then it opens. It like takes a second and I'm pressing space. Ready? Three, two, one, now. Three, two, one. It takes a second for it to open. That's not bad. It's kind of following what I'm doing. I click and then it starts the animation right there. Same thing with that. The dill pickles. But I don't know if you can. So I heard that you can only play one as one person can play each character. Um, I wonder if you launch a mission. Let's find out. I want to try launching the first mission here and see. I wonder if there's drop in, drop out, or do you have to be in the lobby in order to do it? Um, champions. Okay, so all these are locked. We're doing champions of Icewind Dale. The United Goblins at the, the gates. United Peoples of Icewind Dale had defeated Kessel's armies and destroyed his crystal tower. But the dwarven warriors of Clan Battlehammer returned home to find their halls overrun. Their people fleeing the valley. We rush to their aid, fighting our way through the goblins in Verbeeg to find the goblin commander and put an end to this siege. Yes, we shall. And difficulty setting. So, from my understanding, the way for the difficulty in this game, it's not necessarily skill, it's more of combat power so right now my combat or the party combat power is 1183 we could do hero but the other thing that i've heard is that the only extra thing that it adds is you do get more gold and materials and stuff and it looks like a little bit more xp it doesn't drop any different gear and items other than having better stats so if you go for two hero 
um, you're definitely going, you'll get the same, you have a potential of getting the same items as you would going adventurer, but um, it'll only be a little bit better stats. You can still get all of the gear from the lowest level, apparently. So thought that was interesting. And that was one of the complaints I saw some people say is that um, specifically, actually, if extra life, um, they said that basically playing, playing and upping this, the difficulty really doesn't have a meaning other than if you want to stay on that level, um, and get better stat gear. So yeah, that's kind of how it's going or what I've seen so far. Is this not starting? Like, how does this work? But you have to have at least three people. Are you serious? I see. Well, I will give it a minute or two. And if we fail, then I will just um, start myself. We'll go back to offline. You know I would never leave you, but I sometimes miss the forest when I met Mushi. I always laugh when I hear how you almost froze in your first winter on the surface because you didn't know how to make fire. There's one person. I think you need oh. at least three, though. Oh, okay. Two. Two it is. Alright, let's see how this goes. If we run into issues where people drop out and it fails the mission um, or anything like that, then we'll just back out, start my own game, and then go from there. Wolfgar is actually one of the other characters that I'm pretty interested in. So, we'll see. We shall see. Actually, I just, I just thought, since we're playing through Xbox Game Pass, it doesn't have my Steam name, it has my Xbox gamer tag. Huh. I think. Yeah, I would assume so, actually. Taking a little bit to load here. The dragon talks. Well, that was uh, cool. A neat cinematic. Oh. 
All right, the so dwarves have locate the, the invading forces supply trials. Let's now is our chance to repay that kind of debt will pay with the blood of their enemies, a valuable currency. Let's make our dwarven friends a wealthy people. So apparently there's a good amount of like stuff you um a good amount of lore when playing with four characters. And if you and there's no option of toggling them as I uh, co-op. I mean um like single player. So it's kind of like uh yeah, you don't you can only get the full experience by playing with friends, which is fine But you have to actually be able to play with four people You know Apparently there's I've heard there's a good amount of conversations and things like that that happen So okay, guess we didn't have like a tutorial or anything jump right in here which is fine okay I see Campfires and short rest. Campfires appear and all monsters in the sink. So an area have been slain. Taking a short rest will replenish. The Defe defeated monsters will respawn. Okay, interesting. Collect. One tome. Yeah, I'm down. This guy's down to grab all the stuff on the side area. So I am down as well. Oh, you're gonna crash right there. Goblins in Verbeeg lay siege to the Battlehammer Halls. I'll break this siege and then see what damage has been done with it. Nice. Hard to tell what items are collectibles and what are not. Oh, there's loot. Open chests and defeating foes. Foes uh, loot can be collected in Kellen's cairn at the reward chest. Okay. Retrieve eight dwarven mugs. Defeat Mog Thump. The sticker. So let me look up this. Okay. So I could see that there. That was actually not too bad. Seems like there might be something right here. I know what knows what's up. On the curls. Oh, there goes my stamina. Okay. Common ring. All right. All right. And I guess that spawned more of them. Okay, so there's a hit counter. Interesting. Do we have a map to be able to see? 
Icon Legends Party Management. Okay, so my name is Cassis. <laughs> I was curious. He's warm. The sensitivity is very, like, extremely low, which I might be best to turn up a little bit. So, I'm not too sure. That's four. That's five. What about one? Okay, so one uses that first slot there. Is there a uh, geez oh. like right there me trying to turn around and stuff is kind of rough I'm warm right there's a thing right here Found some gold, all right. I think this just leads us back where we are going originally, yeah. <laughs> okay, and it just takes us back down here. Collect something else? Where is it? Where'd it go? Must have I already picked it up. <laughs> okay, I see. So if you don't take the short rest that it just increases the rarity of gear. Okay, we don't have oh no i need the warm Summon it. Nice. Okay. Some sort of epic item. I think we should go up here real quick, but... Ouch. Poisons or something like that. I think our objective is up here, but I do want to go down there. As long as we have like a something that lets us chill for a second. Let's see. Is this anything? Or were we just here? Um but I hear something. Maybe not. I hear it, but I don't know if it does anything. Oops. One of the, the biggest complaints that I have seen has been mainly that the, uh, the AI is not great, which <laughs> just from the short amount of time I've played so far, I can uh, kind of see why. 
doesn't really they don't really react as if uh or in a way that you would think that they would um or they're not even really that aggressive Check uh, controls. Ultimate team attack. Is there like a pipe? This game absolutely needs a uh, X chat. here there's also a thing right here as long as i can pick it up okay oh there's a chest I think he's getting injured. Oh my. The mouse is so slow. I mean, I, I know I have low DPI. I, I use about anywhere. Oh, are you serious, dude? <laughs> Stop. No. Oh my god, we almost both died there. Hold on, dude. I think there's something right here. Yeah. It just got pulled to me. What is this? What? An attribute point. Nice. Okay, that was kind of cool. I need to read over what my abilities do because I'm really not sure. That was that area. So, I I honestly, so far, I think the game is fun. Uh, but it definitely needs improvements as far as like combat, uh, AI, and i mean it feels like there's a little bit of the delay uh matchmaking too probably would be better if there's like drop in drop out unless if that is a thing but i don't think it is um i don't know we'll have to see that as we get further because then again we are literally just starting right now so excited for and what I haven't seen yet um, is the fact that there's different uh, there's a ton of different moves and things like that, that you can unlock. and everybody that I've watched so far hasn't gotten far enough where they did unlock a ton of new moves so 
wanted to increase. <laughs> Might as well. Ouch. I don't know how to dodge. Let me check real quick. See that? That's very delayed right there. Dodge, evade, C. Okay. I see now. Whether it stays in its current uh, the way it is right now or not, I hope that this game eventually does become similar to how people view a game such as Million Tide. I think having something like that as a third-person co-op uh, action RPG type game, I think that would be a lot of fun, and I think it would be really good for uh, co-op sessions and things like that. So if it does turn to something like that, I, I would love that personally. I would love to see something um, this get to like that type of co-op fun and quality that way you can jump in at any time and and uh oh god and just you know kill some enemies do whatever in reality I will say though, this is honestly a fantastic game to be on Game Pass. I can't tell you whether or, whether or not I would actually be playing this game right now if it wasn't on Game Pass. Oh, did he just get pulled back to me? That sucks. Oh wait, no, he didn't. Oh, cool. What a nice guy. Might be doing something. That's the other nice thing is as loot drops, it's not that you, you don't stop and equip it. You wait until you're uh, done the mission, you go back to the area, and then once you're ready for the next one, you can launch it up at, with all your new gear and stuff. So, I mean, staying with a party, yeah, I guess that's actually not bad. Because then if, you, if everyone has that one friend that's like, Oh, I want all my stats to be maximum at all times. Um, they have to wait. <laughs> but I don't know. I don't know. Maybe people do prefer. Um, I've always kind of been on both sides. Depends on the type of game. If I should stop and equip it right then and there, or if I should wait type. Uh, I don't know. as well <laughs> so you can just jump over that these are giant books oh god i landed in the fire but turns out i'm fine um, so I forget if I was saying this earlier or not, but apparently, so right now, I think you can only play with one of each character. 
So you can have two Dritz or uh, two Wolfgars, but I believe that there's a uh, a patch coming out not too long from now that supposedly should be opening it up so that way you can play with any number of characters or any the same amount same people um do we both need this aha there it is nice and there's a chest right here i literally just saw that through through the thing oh god oh god ouch There's another thing right behind here. Remind me of the mind players from uh Baldur's Gate. Alright, there's probably a bunch of loot here. Yeah, might as well, dude. Was he fighting somebody? No way. And then I pulled him back. That sucks, dude. That's annoying. Why would they? They, um, I think they were doing that in, uh, Avengers too, where it would constantly be like, return to your party leader. And then it would teleport you back. Oh God. Oh God. Especially when you don't want to hold, like, I don't want to hold them up, but, like, I want to pick up stuff, too. Without their fans, the siege Time to take out the goblin commander. weird always destroy the barrels all right here we go first boss battle complete 
General Griggs. I couldn't even read it. Completion rewards. Got a cape and something else. Um, this game reminds me. <laughs> it reminds me a lot of Avengers right now. I feel like we just did a villain se sector in Avengers, but instead of Avengers, it's uh. Dungeons and Dragons. I do it all for the day. Top friends. Okay. Mushu sixty nine. <laughs> cool. It tells us how much material that we gained. Wow, we got a lot more epic. I got five legendary. Huh. huh. He got two rares as well. Interesting. Okay. One second, chat. I'm going to run this real quick as we're loading. You are in here? You've been disconnected. Cool. All I'm saying is we better have kept our loot. Yes, we did. Okay, that's actually not too bad. Um, especially if we kept our loot. Return to the reward chest regularly to claim your loot. Press M on the character sheet to navigate the equipment tab. Upgrade your character by new gear, usable items, and other stuff. Second. The shard's still out there, huh? Can't believe that has anything to do with Regis. Right. Open reward chest. Reveal all. Quick whip. Hey, who stole my? Oh, never mind. Uh, yeah, no. Quick I, I got it. False alarm. Oh, it goes down. Apparently, I just got a achievement as well. Oh, that's different. Ah, I see, I see. Actually, let's go through this. So we go to M and equip. So we're level two. Okay, I see. You can up use your attribute points. Equip. Okay, so here's the new items that we got. It looks like we got a purple, which is the best one, obviously. Yep. Now, apparently, stat bonuses are pretty big in this game as well. Um, having, or I mean, having the, the correct set of something can make quite a difference. So, yeah. I don't think I got any new leg pieces now. They get a new ring, though. The other one doesn't really give me any... Okay, so yeah, you can see set bonus. Uh, so if you have the cold resistance, you get a... If you have all eight pieces of cold resistance, you get 2% chance to hit... Uh, when hit to release a cold burst, instantly frozen condition to all monsters within 8 meters. Huh. Okay, so these are your abilities. We have blink, which is our R ability. Right click. Wait, what? I think that's supposed to be Q. 
Yes. <laughs> yeah. Counterfeit. I swear it. I know nobody asked. I'm just saying. Moves. Equip. Yeah. So if we go to abilities. So cloud of dra daggers surrounded by flying daggers. Daggers deal damage and inflict bleeding. And this one. Wait, that's the opposite. <laughs> what? Wait, when I press it, why I don't know why this says R, but right now my ability is Q. So when I press Q, it puts me into the ethereal plane, become invisible and deal damage. I uh, immediately ends if uh, dealing damage immediately ends the effect. Taking damage does not. When exiting invisible, Dritz gains precision strikes. When I press and hold R. I mean Q, it does the cloud of daggers. When I tap it, it does blink. I don't know why it comes up as R in there. It's interesting. I had to open the door for my doggo. Okay, so that's how that works. Shark's still out there, huh? Um, I keep pressing escape, or I press like tab to open up the menu. So let's see, we have feats, usables. Where do you go to change your cosmetics? Look, because apparently there are outfits stuff. Upgrade material. So what are you doing later? Upgrade doing usables. This, like always. Merchant skins. Skins allow you to customize visual appearance of your equipment. Skins are cosmetic and do not change. Reflect. Talk to the merchant. What's going on, neighbor? Okay, I see. Wait. Wait, there's not actual, like... I thought there was a full-on, like, outlook, like, um, skin type thing, but no, it's literally, you just change one piece of gear to look like another piece of gear. Like, I can make this sword... For the daggers. Scimitars, technically, actually. To look like any of these. The gloves can't do anything. Same thing with these. It only costs 50, so it's not bad. Actually, that's that's pretty um, decent, I would think. Eventually, we'll get a bunch of other different... Later then. Um, Things we can unlock. Let me do moves then. Sorry, distractions. Eats. I uh, increase usable drops. Increase HP when getting raised to 100%. Usable drops by one. So these like are kind of like luck traits and stuff. Hunter, physical damage. Okay. You use... Okay, so you feet, use feet points. Ah, I see. So character sheet is your stats, and then you get attribute points where you can use to spend it, and it'll increase your... Uh, strength, dexterity, uh, constitution intelligence wisdom and charisma and then their proximity rate radius so we'll probably want to do this and do 
boosting hit points. Maybe strength. It only goes up about 10 points though. Like literally. Spend those attribute points. Let's go to equip. I mean moves. So for moves, you use your gold to unlock new abilities. Which is an interesting technique, I guess. God, why are you? Did it just crash on me? My mouse is like... You can see how laggy it is right there. Game, are you okay? Do we like lose connect? What the heck? Um, that's weird. You guys see a completely different screen than what I see now. You also see that. I don't know why you see that. <laughs> okay, that's weird. I think it just straight up crashed. It's taking over my screen so I can't see anything behind it. Okay. Yeah. That was weird. Um, we're going to try launching that game again. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Let's try getting back in, I guess. <laughs> uh, I think we're good again. Really not sure. Um, jump into action immediately with your current character. You join the best available party based on several matchmaking criteria. Quick play grants a bonus XP when successfully completing a mission. Interesting. I'm going to open up my own party again and get ready to select another mission. Okay, so let's see what we got here. So we'll unlock that ability. Just looking to see what we have here. OK. 
Okay. Well, at the end of the day, we're going to get new abilities anyways, so... And I was also reading that it really doesn't matter, technically. <laughs> so, we'll just choose that. So, we fought the cultists last time. The verb... Verbeeg. Well, uh, and then here's all of us. Bios. Eating relief tablet. Home. All right, let's run over here like this. Okay, so I it was not goblins. I see. So each one of these has a um, different. I think, but it's. I think it's three. Three chapters. Huh. Optional tutorial. Oh. We should definitely do that then. Hold on, let me do that real quick. Now that we've finished our first mission. Let's go. Uh, how do we leave? Is it the menu maybe? Here we go. Trial of Tempest. Let's do it. Let's just uh, try it out. Do what it says. Uh, use to select attribute and allocate unspent attribute points. Passive bonus. Navigate to the feats tab in the character panel. Good stuff to sell me. Uh, menu to spend your feet points. Unlocks new moves and abilities in the moves tab. Once the locked moves can be performed by pressing the indicated buttons. Merchant. Okay, cool. Actually, it's a good idea. Uh, let me see if... Okay, yeah. Didn't even spend these two attribute points. Unless... Wait. No, it did. I think it bugged. Because this was... I bumped it up to 10. And then when the game broke, it was at plus two again. So now I'm at 12. <laughs> I think I broke or it broke at some point. So let me actually do that. Interesting. The Ranger. Let's see. So converts 100% of dexterity into armor. That's interesting. The Hunter. Ooh, that's a lot of critical damage stuff. Expertise. Do the hunter. Okay, lightning reflexes, improved critical hit. Yeah, hunter seems pretty cool. Wonder we just left you people behind. You'd slow him way down. All right, let's try out this uh, tutorial mission thing. It seems like you don't actually have to do it, but it Under does. Your holes, um, goblins. Now it might set up like a cool area or something. Learned at the melee make there, yeah. and I will judge your worth. <laughs> More foes to fell. Oh, that's how you do a ranged attack. Study, 
Oh, it just constantly rotates. But you have an objective in the top right, so it says defeat monsters with fierce attacks. Form a four hit combo. I sense fear within you. Not really. The fool's alone. You claim to be this country's protector, Drist <laughs> Doherden. Perform Show jump. me that you're worthy of the title. I don't want no trouble from you, Drow. The hunter yeah. within you comes alive, and you are indeed its master. <laughs> Hit me. Continues. You claim to be this country's protector, Driss Doerden. Show me that you're worthy of the title. Your enemies will tremble before you, Driss Doerden. No crowd of enemies with vigor, Driss Doerden. <laughs> After a strike to do an empowered. Open the chest. I probably should have did this first. Of course, you give me a cape. Challenges that face the Dale. Something I already have. <laughs> All right. Fair enough. Now we have the new loot. All right, I'm going to try doing public session again. All right. Not any better than what I currently have, so I am good. Okay, so that was the tutorial mission, which we just completed. Um, it was not goblins that drove the battle hammers from them. And what the clocks mean? The Durgar we fit. It was not goblins that drove the battle hammers from their halls. 
it was Durgar. They came from the Underdark, and had penetrated the lower halls, exposing the dwarves to attack. With the dwarven warriors off fighting Kessel, those dwarves who remained behind were no match for the invading Durgar. Before the Battlehammer halls could be secured, we would have to seal the Durgar breaching tunnels. Durgar is funny sounding. Uh, let's do hero. Oh. Ah. Oh. I see what level they are. M. Party management level one. How is the, <laughs> I would say, how is a Dungeons and Dragons game without a, uh, without an, an emotes menu or anything like that? Wolf guy. I was expecting this winter to be a harsh Hello, one, friend. but so far it's been quite mild. I embrace the winter. Nothing like cold stone under your feet to get you moving. Friend. Oh god, there's a second now. Did they unlock it? Or does it automatically so kick So long them? as the shard is still out there, this will never be over. The Dale has always been threatened by one force or another. This one is just added to the list. That's cool. Starting automatically. Somebody joined right as it was about to start. Really, dude? What? Levistus has sent his legions to Icewind Dale. Yet I fear the worst is yet to come. When we've dealt with them here, I say we make a trip to Stygia and hit that devil where it hurts. All right, I'm giving it like another second or two. Actually, I'm going to run one of these if nobody else. Oh, they left. I'm going to run one of these uh, while we wait. Then we'll see. I don't understand the why match make and then just leave. I still think of Heathcock's nice. death. My rage took over and I 
may have went too far. You rely on your rage to drive you. But if you let it control you, you're let heading down a dark come. path. Nice. Give them a plus one for actually being able to find some people. Dwarven and matchmakers are unmatched. Unlike uh, pay for their own protection is high. One of the largest franchises out there. Marvel. Destruction saved many who will live to rebuild it. That's true. But there is a toll to seeing the halls this way. It will take time to recover. here whoa Wait, which way are we supposed to go first Can't get up, dude. I do force respawn, it's gonna pull him back, I think, though. Oof. Well, hopefully that was worth it. I wonder if you don't pick it up if it goes to that loot crate still. Oh, there's a like piece right there. Okay. The door Whoa! Four tunnels. Each one <laughs> must be sealed. Nice. Oh, sick. Taking that elevator did not work out great, but this does look pretty cool right here. Wait, I don't think they're hostile. They're not hostile. Bro, they're not hostile. I don't think they're hostile. 
These are the dwarves. I'm 95% sure we weren't supposed to attack them. Also, I'm about to die. Explosive barrel, interesting. Did that do anything right here? I don't know if we're sp I think we're supposed to go the other way, but... What generates the whoa, epic scimitar? Nice. I wonder what generates the, um, empowered attack. Gold. Jeez, it's probably gonna do the return to her. Yeah, it's probably gonna pull him to me in a second. Oh, wait, no! They're friendly! I think? I don't know, dude. I'm so confused. I thought they were actually friendly. They weren't attacking at first. way should have found the shark by now leave the ruler satisfied watching the dwarves destroy their own halls and their vain effort to hold us if they had spent more time on defense and let whoops I just used my hand
That feels pretty cool. Rest. Uh oh. Sir. think there's got to be a way to get up there oh, I see an explosive barrel yep it's right there oh you can wait can you ping that there's definitely a chest underneath here too all the barrels okay nice now that he's gotten that yeah don't forget that too my dude oh watch out nice just gold So now we should be able to do this and then that will explode and I don't really know what that does. Um, I feel like maybe this does something. Ah, now we can get to it. Cool. Common ring. Jump. Ah, good call. This needs like a, a ping system or something like that too. Elevator. went the right way the entire time or we went away that uh works it's just different i don't know what lets you do the empowered ability still kind of confused on that part Oh, sick. There's a attribute point back there. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> nice. This gives you an attribute point. Yes. I'm in some paw. Oh, 
Oh, nice. That was worth doing. Once he's good. Yeah, I already got that. Just want to check this room before we go to the next. Uh, or we can go to the next. It's up to him. All right, looks like he wants to go here. Really don't think they're hostile. But we're just killing them anyways. Keep pressing one to use my ability. Don't know why I just used that either. I think this is the way we were supposed to go. Potion, nice. Get too close to that. Let him come out of here. Come out to here. It's like so many criticals when you get behind them. Take that loot rarity. We're doing fine. Ah, okay. Go back. Go back. Go back. I thought there's gonna be something back there. <laughs> I mean, all right. He's still down to go this way. Sure. I heard the captain talking. They say we are trapped. Never Alright, we can probably go back.
Yeah, think now we need to go back. Oh, there's also something up here. Completely forgot about this. I think we're good to keep in, heading back. I don't know. So far, I mean, I'm having a good time. I think, I think that you you kind of have to play this game uh, co-op. I, I really wish we had a full four-party team um, playing this, but playing it uh, with even randoms is so far has has still been fun um really don't have many many complaints right this second ai definitely needs some work um still and probably like smoothing out the combat and stuff but otherwise it, it could be worse you know at least like to be honest to be completely honest right now at least the game is playable and you're not getting like 10 frames per second like you did the first week of Avengers releasing. Um, so in that and and on top of that, you can actually find a game. Because um, I, I honestly do see a, a completely different games, obviously. But you really can see a lot of the similarities between the two. That thing is kind of just floating there. Um, because they're, they're meant to be co-op focused games. can't wait to unlock uh new moves and, and things like that I'll, I'll leave it up to this guy he can decide okay <laughs> nice all right let's see if we can bring this thing down I actually like the the um the loot stuff. Uh, I mean the little like puzzles and things like that. I think I think that stuff has been pretty fun so far as well too. So oh jeez, jump up. That's fine. Wait, do we need to go that way? Where does it want us to go? Oh, I know where we're at now. Holy crap. So we could have gone up this way and then down the way that we're current, currently going. Nice. We got all the uh, supply crates. That's cool. Wait, now we're down here again. 
See, now maybe this is just me too, but like this, and it all depends on, on once the game's actually, like once we get to the end game in a way and level up our character and all that. Um, Avengers is one of those types of games where I would love to be able to, now that I've finished the game, um, like jump back in, level my characters, increase their power level, and just like help people do um, quick play missions, like four player matches, stuff like that, completely like with randoms. That kind of stuff has always been like fun to me. So, gets in the main game. Okay, so now when he gets in the main game. Um, so that, that kind of stuff's always been fun to me, even when it's like, just like you're playing the same missions or you're just leveling up your character so if this game can hold that and like you're actually able to match make when you get like towards the end of the the levels and everything then i personally think that i'll continue playing it through throughout um whether i play it on stream or not because I, I don't really have a problem like playing these types of games like off stream in a way as long as like i'm done like the main story Cause it's kind of made for that too, especially if it's not the best, the best game to watch at all times. Oh my God. Jeez. here. I guess we'll see what happens where it puts us last. I mean, it's not like you don't lose any of the gear that we've picked up so far. It's still loading for me. This makes me nervous. There we go. Jesus. I couldn't see anything else. Oh my god. So we've been fighting him this whole time. 
I've heard it, but I was in the menu. These. Oh my god. Just get him. Just get him. Just get him. Just get him. Okay. All right, we're good. You're serious? I used two of my health potions because I was still loading in the loading screen, even though the game supposedly already loaded. He rage quit, dude. Yeah, we just went through that entire mission. Or unless if this game crashed. And that's different. But... Alright, hopefully I can do this by myself. Holy crap! Huh? <laughs> Jesus Christ, what the f What the hell? Ah, uh, dude, you really just left. Christ, dude, come on. <laughs> this is the reason why I don't like playing these types of games by yourself because you can't get carried. No, not actually just that, but the fact that when you when you play it solo and you die, you have to restart the entire fight over again. And this is a co-op based game, so like you're meant to have like have a more difficult enemy, but that also you have your teammates to you know keep picking each other up and using teamwork. Not just rushing in and fighting a electric monster that you can get down to down 25% and then die and then try again. And if we quit, we have to do the entire thing, the entire mission over again. Yeah. 
See, right now, I think I'm in combat, but my game is not loaded. I just got down. <laughs> Moral of the story is don't go down or it'll break your game. All right, I think the game's broken, so I think we have to alt F4 <laughs> and then try again. Five friends playing this, really. Sorry. Oh my god. Wait, what? Did I just... I pressed something on my keyboard and it crashed the game or closed it out. What? Ah... <sighs> I really don't know what I pressed because we just got back into the game. So, yeah. I'm interested in seeing what stuff they actually end up adding to this game, though. Um, I think... 
so long as they do patches and everything i mean they've been pretty active on social media and stuff so in that aspect it's kind of cool Let's see what happens when we do quick quote <laughs> quick uh quick play It throws us into a four, four, okay. Character is already in your party. That's, a, that sucks. Huh. Okay. Caddy Bree, your good friend Regis told me all Interesting. about you. Cardic Stone Roller here. Anything you need, just step up to my booth. That's why people join and then instantly leave. It was not. Act one complete. You must complete. Okay, I see. I see. What happens? I mean, I'm down to try out the um. This chick. Go to party management. Oh, okay. Everybody's level one. Cool. So we're probably jumping into like the first mission. Or wait, no. No, it's actually taking us to the second mission. I think. Huh. So maybe it's actually good? The matchmaking? I'm gonna run this real quick. At least now we'll have a second uh second character to play as. She's actually one of the other characters that I did want to play as. So or at least try. They all have cool armor so far. <laughs> and then there's me. Goblins made a mess of the valley. Goblins. I'm not looking forward to see what Duergar had done to my cores. It will not be pretty, but it's just stone. You're right. I should just be grateful most of my people made it out with their lives. Wow. Yeah. Think of it as an opportunity are you serious even better than before well you never fail we missed all out. of this conversation right, right here because we were in solo One guy left. I mean, hey, if we progress the story, like, 
I'm cool with it. I'm cool with swapping characters and stuff. All four of the Durgar <laughs> breaching tunnels have to be sealed to secure the hall. I think we lost. <laughs> Go back up for him. There it goes. I don't think that's supposed to happen. <laughs> I don't think that's supposed to happen at all. I can't tell if the game is just bugged for him. I think you're only supposed to spawn one of them, which is so funny. Oh, oh, oh my god, I thought that was gonna be it. I thought that was it for me. Oh shit, that's right. Is there actually a loot? Oh wow, nice. I wonder, I guess it drops for the character that you're playing as. I'd assume. go back because I I mean you end up going the other way anyways so at least I think actually no you don't you can go either way though Oh, 
Oh shit. Keep forgetting that I have like a healing thing. <laughs> she runs out of stamina so quick. He went flying into the air. Whatever they want to do. Loot rarity works for me. Alright, bring that thing down. That's the right way. Huh. Missed this in my playthrough. Or my, yeah. The last one that I did. Sweet. And actually, when we get out of here, um, when we're back at the base, I can swap back to Mike. Uh, the other guys, so long as nobody new joins, which I mean, that would work for me. Got a strong foot. He good? Crap, dude. She's good. What are my abilities?
gain level hand handle lever handle handle ah can't speak That was close. Think forget if it do you have to go pick up all of your own stuff? No. There's nothing even over there for me. I don't know if you have to actually go and pick up all of your own stuff individually or if it works um, where it, uh, as long as one person picks it up, it'll go to your um, inventory or right, your chest. That actually is so good. The first ability barely does anything, but the second one, I mean, yeah, so right, I'm right clicking, pressing and holding right clicking, like that. That's what does that, it, that damage. Like right there, but then if this is left click now. Like look at that, look at the difference. And they use about the same amount of stamina too. Which is weird. Why is there a stamina bar heft? I wonder. Oh, maybe now she needs to take that rest. <laughs> Poor guy. Collect. Nice. I'm excited to see the uh, the menu after the, at the end of this one here. to go back. All right, well, technically he's the boss man. So we're going to get dragged to him regardless. Also, the frame rate just like randomly dropped there. Oh, yeah, there's something right here. Unless if we already pulled that. Where's he going? Uh, 
I love being able to turn around and seeing like that. Mushroom cave. <laughs> I can't even react. Where is he? Get over here, dude. I knew what that ability did, but that <laughs> it just made a giant thing right in the center. A giant, like, uh, I don't know, a bunch of things or whatever, vines. Oh, I have a, a new ability. Lose bonus or take it. I'm good with whatever. Ah, resting. Darn. Oh well. Oh wait, you pick this up. I wonder how long I had that ability back there because I'm really not sure. Oh, wait. Oh, we can't miss this. I don't know if we got the lever from them.
Don't forget to hydrate, chat. It's sick how he lights up like that. He's gonna pull us into a battle soon. Here we go. It's so weird having to hold. So you, in order to go into range mode, you have to hold the left control. So I'm holding that this entire time firing. I get my ultimate or my ability well two things I can do the heal I think this heals them up too That was pretty cool. Yeah, that that was actually pretty fun. Playing with uh, three other people there. Or two other. Before the one guy quit on us. <laughs> that was pretty cool though, actually. Seventy nine. Damn. The most damage dealt. Downed zero dimes. I'm carrying this wow. team. Yeah. 
Okay, cool. <laughs> they were level, uh, a little bit of level higher than me. That's all right. Nice. Um, we can probably do one more match chat and kind of see where it goes from there. So we got a bunch of uncommon, rare, uh, no rares, epic, no legendaries. Cool. So it seems like quick play might be the way to go. Um, and then hopefully as long as they add in the ability to match make with any class, then down the line, it'll only get easier too for matchmaking. So disconnected. Damn. Does that mean it disconnects every time? Huh. Um, okay. Well, actually, wait. So we can do select character. I'm gonna select her. Check my gear real quick. That way she's loaded out. Forgot her load out. And then... Right, I don't know why I'm looking in options. <laughs> Half it. Um, character's knowledge, intelligence provides a boost of elemental damage, condition, penetration, and reduces cooldown timers. Let's do one here. This. Let's do two there. Actually. That moves. Go to equip. What? Oh, right, right. I forgot. Whew. Equipment, yes. Shoulda brought a book. Reveal all. Fine. Once we revealed them all, now we can go here. Make sure we equip the best of the best. And rings good cool Could you go so it seems like you share your cash or your gold across characters as well this is the same thing for feats it is actually no no no, no. now you have different feats for different ones okay cool because this one we have uh long strider or the archer Do this. Oh, we have another feat. Nice. Ten percent bonus for physical arrows. I'll take that. Okay, so let's do quick play again. We'll see what happens. Oh, it's so bright up here. How do these people stand? While that's uh, going,
option selected. I'm gonna leave. I know, I know. Now I'm that guy. Let's see if we can quick match again. Goblins at the gates. First mission. I'm up three. Game, so that's kind of. I'll take it, I guess. Whatever. Hello? Oh, okay. Now it's picking me up. It doesn't pick me up if I whisper. I said I was trying to... Okay. It doesn't pick up everything that I say. It only picks up some of the things that I say. Um, I don't know if I want to... Do I want to do this mission again? I don't want to... Fail on them, but oh, my game crashed. Oops. There's also a new, another uh, GeForce driver that's out. Um, ah. give it one more shot. We might, we might call it before another match starts. It's already 930, but we'll see. We'll see in a second here. We can get into a game and it starts up quick. Then I'm cool with that, but we'll see. Uh, before we do that, let me actually select the, uh, again and now now let's do quick play online worst case it makes me select a different one worst Really? <laughs> okay. Mission. Wolfgar. Even like they're waiting for me at the door. Where is that Lazabai? We need him on the battle. Oh, really? <laughs> we just said the world is over, but. All right, chat. You know what? I think I'm going to chill. Um, tomorrow, if I get home in time and everything, then we'll be good to go. Um, and we'll, we'll kind of go from there. But yeah, for, for tonight, I'm going to...